Hey guys, Matt with Modern Artisan here. Okay, this is obviously a bathroom. It's uh, a rendering I did in SketchUp. And so this is a master bathroom, uh, kind of master bathroom and closet combined. Uh, really excited about this series. This will be episode one of a series. And uh, so it's a complete gut and remodel of a bathroom that's 15, 20 years old. I think it's 18 years old. And uh, we're going to do some really cool built-ins. We're going to do a really cool shower. Um, the, the drawing doesn't really do justice. It's just kind of uh, some generic cabinets that are shown in the drawing. But uh, it's going to be some really neat and complicated, tricky stuff to build. Oh, we're going to try and do these uh, custom uh, mirrors with indirect lighting um, and lots of light. Lighting everywhere. Lighting behind those uh, wall glazing lights, um, curved uh, indirect lighting in the ceiling. So uh, lots of cool stuff going on, lots of creativity in the small space. But anyways, that's the, the big overview of the, the projects. And uh, let's just jump into episode one and get going here. Okay guys, welcome to the Modern Artisan channel. Here we are again. Uh, this should be episode one, I believe, of the, I don't know what we're going to call it, Master Bathroom Remodel Extraordinaire, whatever. Uh, so we're in the same master suite where I we added on the sunroom, we did the built-ins, we did the big cherry backdrop behind the master bed. Uh, so now we're on to the bathroom, the last and outdated portion of this. Uh, I built this like 18 years ago, and so <clears throat> we're excited to do a like a major refresh here. And so uh, we'll go inside and look at this. Uh, just about to get started, I took out this window in the fall. It's uh, February now, but I, uh, I didn't want to do that in the winter, and I knew that that was going to have to come out. So we did that ahead of time, uh, and now we're just getting ready to start. We kind of got it all planned out. Uh, the main area of the bathroom, as it is existing, it's pretty open and airy. It has vaulted ceilings, which is nice. But the whole rectangular space, which includes the uh, toilet and the closet, is kind of closed off. You know, so we've got this little cubby for the toilet. We've got um, what is a pretty condensed, pretty compact uh, closet that kind of wraps around that bathroom. So the idea is we want to open this up, which means we're going to tear out those walls. Uh, and then there's going to be a built-in like a double shower in, in the back corner there which will kind of be the focus of the bathroom it'll be uh surrounded in glass the tub will be inside uh with the with the two shower heads uh the toilet will be tucked away but it won't have its own room anymore and uh and we're gonna do some really cool built-ins and uh, kind of hide all the junk and so it should end up being uh, a pretty cool modern uh but really open feeling bathroom um the footprint isn't huge for this whole thing, so we're trying to be really, really efficient on the space. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we're gonna. Uh, these are uh, scissor trusses here. So one of the main things I got to figure out is uh, these trusses bear on this wall that I want to tear out. So we're gonna have to stick a beam in there. And so uh, what we're gonna start with today is uh, we're gonna move our junk out of the closet and get that completely cleared out. And then I can start doing some of the dusty work. We're going to cut into walls and ceilings and, and, uh, and just look at exactly what we need to do there to support those trusses. Uh, the fixtures we're going to leave operational for now. Um, so it's going to be a work in progress, but the bathroom will be halfway usable. Uh, and so we just, I just need to get into those walls to kind of complete the planning stage. So uh, we'll shoot some video here. I'll keep you updated on the progress and we're going to have some fun with it. Okay, this is kind of like moving, so it sucks, but uh, actually I would recommend um, doing this once in a while. We hadn't done it in 18 years, so got all the junk out of there, and now on to the empty closet. All right, I need to tear out the uh, wall surrounding the toilet, and I want to tear off the sheetrock uh, behind that sheetrock on this wall that I got to put a header in. I want to see what that looks like in there. Um, I'm not going to tear that wall out yet because we want to leave the shower as long as possible.
I am about to uh, try and put a beam in there because this is a vaulted ceiling in this part. So that's a vaulted ceiling. And so those scissor trusses bear on that wall. And so they're very short. It's a um, short, short span. So it's not a, it's not a huge uh, weight, but we're going to put a beam in there. So it's one of the last things to do so I can finish my demo. So after that beam's in, then I can tear out the rest of that wall. I'm going to leave a little bit uh, so that shower head can stay in there. <clears throat> and we're going to save the shower head and this lone toilet for as long as we can. Uh, and then they'll go right at the end when they have to. So i uh, got to cut out a little bit more for this beam. And yeah, here we go. All right, so a little explanation here. I am just getting ready to put the beam in this wall, um, tri trimming a little more of the sheetrock and uh, demoing out this little triangle shelf there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the studs out. I have a uh, bracing on the other side of the wall holding up what needs to be held out up. And it'll actually serve as kind of a backstop for putting the beam in. And then here we come with this uh, double layer uh, laminate beam that we built. Uh, I think that's 11 and 7 eighths probably. And oh, couldn't make it that way. So we're backing it up, taking it out the back door and bringing it in the patio door of the master bedroom. Oh, there's a light. Now what you can't see, and I never really showed, I don't think very well, is um, there is a, a column built into the wall on either side that this, this bears on in the exterior wall to the right and then in that uh, load bearing wall to the left. So just trying to fight this thing into place. No, don't do that, I'll do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, we just got the beam in here. We didn't try it yet. And we didn't have to just cut out something we didn't expect. We're ready to go. <laughs> Everything is going just as planned. Okay, places, action. Okay, is it rolling? Yep. Okay. We just got the beam in here. We're just getting ready to start. We did not have to cut more off because I would have anticipated that. Here we go. Okay, so we just got the beam in place. We did not have to cut out three things and then cut another board. I did not get totally sweaty and tired already. Okay, so let's see if this thing fits. It's gonna be really tight. What? Okay, I just felt like there was something you wanted to say. Okay, all right. And then we got a shirtless guy on the TV screen. <laughs> all right, let's do it, kid. Yeah. Okay, we just got it in here. That's why we're out of breath, not because of anything else. Uh, so, um, we're all feeling very good about this one. This is gonna be the one. Cue the music. I'm on the ledge. You are? Yeah, I can come my way. Are you on? Are you supposed to carry? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so we got some things to touch up here. Great. <laughs> Man, I feel so good about it. It looks nice. It's like a glove. The how the these trusses will not fall down now. Highly unlikely. Okay. Cut. <laughs> Eighteen years later you'd be Here I am again. <laughs> taking it apart. So is your toilet gonna stay in the same spot? No. no. So you can just move that. Oh yeah, you can move anything, turns <laughs> yeah. out. Okay, on to probably the most fun part of this video is actually framing that oval uh, indirect lighting there uh, above the shower. So here's how I did it. 
So I decided to make a template out of plywood and then somewhere along the line I decided to just use that piece of plywood as part of the soffit. Um, I believe I started with a two foot radius there and then ended up making it a tighter radius. That's why there's two lines there. But basically just cut out this template, uh, just clean it up a little bit, clean up the edges a little bit. And so, uh, so the method I'm using here with this metal drywall grid is just notching it as often as necessary to snake it around the bend. So it's just a ton of cutting, and uh, and so I got I do got to do that a few times. So there's a top and a bottom to this thing. You'll see how it comes together here, but just a ton of cutting. And more cutting. So this is channel, which will be the bottom of the soffit. And again, I'm just using that piece of plywood for all of it to make that shape. And so I'm putting some, some studs in there and that'll help hold it together, hold, you know, hold the shape. And also give us something to screw the sheetrock to. So getting everything to line up, and I'm about to put studs in between it here and actually build it out then. So what I'm building here is the center ellipse, center oval or whatever of this indirect lighting. And, uh, and I'm gonna build the outside out of wood. And you'll see how I kind of um, extend that light cove underneath it. Okay, guys, all right. Feels like it's been a really long time. Uh, okay, so I framed that uh, little center ellipse deal for my light cove, and uh, that seems like seconds ago to you, but it's been a while for me because I'm so freaking busy at work. But I'm here, it's uh, Sunday, I'm trying to get some stuff done here for this bathroom. I uh, just cut all my pieces, which is really easy to do on uh, that, especially repetitive cuts. A whole video on that um <clears throat> system anyways uh i'm gonna frame up a uh, box around this and then we'll lay studs around it and uh and create the gap but i don't need to tell you you can just watch so let's do it here we go See one of these every day. A little longer. So there's going to be a uh, like a two inch gap between that inner ellipse and the outer one. And so what I'm doing now is kind of making that perimeter of two by fours that will hold the channel. And so they're in place now at a set distance from the center. And now all I got to do is wrap channel around them and screw it on. And that creates that 
gap there, which will be the opening. And then moving on to this other soffit, I had to reframe that. Uh, and it's a little tricky because we have a, a wall glazing light, a little indirect light right along the wall. And so I had to frame that slot and I'm sheetrocking it too because I can't even get a right angle drill in there later. And so that little wall has uh, sheetrock on it also. And then I'll fill in the bottom there and that's done and with the slot already done. Okay, wow, that was uh, kind of tiring. I can see, see my camera work there. Uh, so got the light cove all framed in and uh, hung, hung sheetrock up there because I think it will be would be terribly difficult to get screw that in there later. So we're uh, doing some of the work up front to uh, save us some trouble later. So soffit's all framed in. Uh, all the uh, curved soffit and light cove is done above the shower. So the only thing left here is to just fill in the rest of the ceiling framing. <clears throat> And we're going to do that with a uh, drywall grid. I got some metal angle here. We're going to use some uh, metal Armstrong drywall grid, uh, commercial suspended stuff. So super easy for something like this or something a lot bigger. So I'm used to doing it with, but uh, so yeah, here we go. Wrap up the framing. So this is just drywall uh, ceiling grid, which is kind of like just regular ceiling grid, but just more heavy duty and it's not painted uh, because it's, you know, you don't see it. So uh, it hangs like ceiling grid for the most part. I'm hanging some wires there and putting a kicker in so it can't be pressed up. And okay, that's it for episode one, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, watching along with me. It was fun making it. We got, uh, man, it's going to take several episodes to get through all this, but uh, all the cool stuff is ahead. So tons of built-ins and and all that jazz so i will see you on the next one uh consider subscribing so you'll uh you'll know when the next episodes come out all right see ya